Today on the channel, we unbox the latest from Storm Collectibles, the Jushin Thunder Liger exclusive. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are unboxing the Storm Collectibles Jushin Thunder Liger Ringside Collectibles exclusive. That was a mouthful. Uh, as you guys know, hopefully you guys have been following along, uh, some of the Storm has came out with these Jushin Thunder Ligers. Basically, I think it's been about a year since we got our first one. So basically one a quarter. This is the fourth Jushin Thunder Liger that Storm's made. They're really going to the well over and over. There's still rumors they're going to have a debut Jushin Thunder Liger attire uh, coming out here sometime. They haven't, they've just kind of teased it. And that's all we've got. But I expect more Jushin Thunder Ligers. You know, we had all those Hulk Hogan's from Storm Collectibles. I believe they said they might be doing an Ultimo Dragon, possibly a Great Muda. There's been rumors on that. Boy, that would be awesome. Great Muda, Ultimo Dragon. I'd be all in on those. So many attires they could come out with, just like Jushin Thunder Liger. Um, we also had the Hogan. I would love to see a Storm Collectibles Road Warriors. LOD, I think you could do a million of those. That would be awesome. They would do the Road Warriors right. I would just absolutely love that. That would probably be the figures of the year for me. If they use kind of that Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan base type stuff, get us the crazy face paint, the shoulder pads... Oh boy, we'd be off to the races, but the future will uh, be known hopefully soon with Storm's planning for more wrestling figures. Uh, it's a nice subset line, a little bit bigger than our Mattels and Jacks, but display just okay with them, I think. So, uh, But this one, like I said, is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. You can get that on Ringside right now, um, but let's open this one up. But first, we got to take a look at the packaging. Very similar to the other packaging, just a little color difference. You got Liger down at the bottom, says his name. I do not like, I am not a fan of the cellophane that they put in front of the figure. For you men on card guys, it just makes it foggy, kind of hard to see. Uh, it's just not, I, I get what the, it's in there to protect and all that stuff, but boy, if you're a men on card person, it just looks weird uh, to me. So, I don't know, not a fan of that. I see it's trying to protect the figure, but it's not good for you men on card guys at all. There's the side of the package. It says World Legend, which I guess is true. Liger is a worldwide legend. Same thing on the other side. Top, you got a little bit of a clear. You got the same thing. A little of the legal stuff on the bottom, but I believe it's all in, yeah, Japanese. Jushin Thunder Liger. Not for children under three. Recommended for 15 and up. So luckily, I'm over 15. So this is, I'm just who they're looking for. And then you got the back, too. You got uh, Japanese writing right there. Unfortunately, I cannot read that. I have to get my old translator out. A little bit of image shots there. Uh, doesn't really say anything. New, New Japan Pro Wrestling, King of Sports, Storm Collectibles. Um, yeah, licensed by Maskway Limited. Whoever they are, never heard of them. But let's open up this guy. I always try to protect the box on these. Uh, these are nice packaging. I figure if I ever do want to sell it, it'd be nice to keep the packaging on this one. Got a cool background. You got the Liger in there. Very cool. Jushin Thunder Liger. See you later. Got to go easy. And then I always keep the packaging. There's so many extra hands with these Ligers. I like to keep the hands and stuff. There's this. And then there's that plastic thing. I don't like it. It just takes away from you men on card, guys. So there it is. Uh, see you later. See you later. <laughs> all right. Looking here. We got tons of hands. You guys know they all fall out. Everything falls out. You can't even do the plastic prison shot that we're accustomed to. It just falls apart. So we're skipping that for uh, this show. But there's this. See you later. Uh, they always wrap these up in uh, plastic as well. As you can see. You know, they really take care of their figures. That's for sure. I always rip this off though. Let me get it there. And we'll get it there. We're not going to save that. That's some serious uh, regular time. See you laters. So here we go. So now, like I said, this Liger, not a lot of meat on the bones at all. Uh, you compare this to the original Liger. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I'll take You guys take a little peek of it first right here. There he is. Beautiful cape. That's some of the best, if not the best capes I've around, that's for sure. All genres. Um, very cool. It's got the wire in it so you can flex it. You can do whatever you want with this cape. So I do appreciate that. Great mobility. Uh, you got the ankles, you got the knees, you got the waist, you got the hands with the interchangeable hands. I mean, I got an army of hands right here. Uh, you, any can position you possibly want for your Liger, 
Got them all right here. You name it. You can do whatever you want. Um, the head does pop off really easy if you want to take this off and, and display them without the cape. Great figure. Great figure. Just checking. I don't see any paint issues. You know, I, all these storms I've gotten over the years, all the Hogans, all the Ligers, no paint issues on any of them. So definitely we appreciate that. As you guys that are followers of the channel know, uh, I'm usually not that lucky with paint, especially in the last six months. Uh, let's let's pull out the original Liger. This is this is the one that brought us all to the dance about a year ago. Perfect Liger, just amazing. Now what is different? So this is uh, so okay. This is the first Liger. So maybe this one I'm sure is out of stock. Can't buy it anymore. So I'm sure it commands a, a decent retail price. So maybe that's why they're coming out with this one. There is not a lot of meat on the bone here. Uh, looking at the difference, the horns on the head are different, painted. One's, the new one is blue, the old is gold. The chest protector chest piece is totally different. And then the belt color is gray instead of gold on the old one. That is it. Not a ton of meat on the bone here. Uh, unless you're a crazy completist like me or a diehard Jushin Thunder Liger fan, I think this is a, probably an easy pass for you guys, honestly. I don't know why you would need this one if you already have this one. I, if you do not have this one, definitely get this one. Is it a similar enough but different of the original, not the original Liger, but the Liger we think of, especially here in America. Obviously, Liger, I don't know about you guys, the first time I ever saw him was against Brian Pillman in early WCW days. Uh, that is when I think of Jushin Thunder Liger, that is what I think of, and that's what this fairly uh, certainly represents, at least to us over here. Huge major star over in New Japan uh, for many, many years. Actually wrestled in NXT against um, Tyler Breeze, I believe it was, a couple years ago. So that was pretty cool. He was supposed to go into the WWE Hall of Fame, but that kind of got uh, the kibosh put on it with uh, COVID and all that stuff. But uh, I do like this Liger. It's just not... It's, it's For the price point on these, they're pretty expensive figures. They're about double the price of a, a traditional Mattel, even a little bit more. Um, I don't know if there's enough meat on the bone, like I said, for you guys out there that already have this one. Uh, but if you need one Liger and you can't find this one, this is probably the one to get. However, I will bring out uh, another previous ringside exclusive, and I believe you can get this one still. It's the all-black Liger costume. Really like this one. I love, you know, black, heavy metal, all that kind of stuff. This is the heavy metal Jushin Thunder Liger uh, in my book. So I do like this one a whole lot. Um, I'd pick that one up for sure. Actually, I think I prefer this one over these. Even though this is the traditional, this is what I know. I think this is just such a cool one in the black. Uh, that's for sure. But, but the granddaddy of them all and the rarest of the Jushin Thunder Liger figures is this one. Uh, I think there was only 500 of these made. Uh, it's the blue. It was some Japanese website uh, exclusive. Um, very hard to get. I remember the day this went up for sale, I, I was thinking about it, thinking about it. I said, you know what? There's only 500. It's going to sell out quick. Buy it now. Think about it later. You can always sell it and probably get your at least your money back. I bought it. It sold out quick. It was a hard one, though. Navigating all Japanese on the website, I don't know how I got through and how it worked. It said something like 10,000 yen. I, was, I didn't even know what I was paying. You know, For all I know, I could have been paying $10,000 for this, but... I, f I forget, it was like 80 bucks or something like that. But it was, it was a pricey one. But I really do like the blue on this one. This is a very, very solid Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, but this one and the black one are really uh, deep cuts of Liger. These are your mainstay ones that you got to have. I guess if you're going to have one Liger, you probably have to have this one. Myself included, even though I really like this black one. Uh, you got to have one of these two uh, for a Liger, that's for sure. So there it is. Storm Collectibles. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see what the future holds for Storm and wrestling figures. And then what more Jushin Thunder Ligers are we going to get? Are we going to get a battle damage Jushin Liger with like kind of a half rip mask? I could see that being a possibility. Uh, there's a couple alt Liger characters out there. And then they did tease that original Jushin Thunder Liger outfit as well. So I do expect us to get, you know, two, three, maybe even four more in the next year. Uh, but like I said, I hopefully we get the Road Warriors, the Ultimo Dragon, or even the Great Muda if that's a possibility. Uh, there's a lot of potential for stuff that we would love to get. And maybe some characters we know we're not going to get via Jazzwares or Mattel one of these days. So there you have it. The Jushin Thunder Liger lineup. The four of them. Uh, the Japanese Chase. The Ringside Exclusive. The new Ringside Exclusive. And then the traditional original one. Uh, very, very cool. You guys let me know in the comments. Do you have any of these Ligers? Are you completing all the Ligers? What you're doing with this Jushin Thunder Liger collection? 
Uh, you guys let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. And then, of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. we got videos every single day out there. And for Jushin Thunder Liger, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.